Hi, Ed Akerst here. This is going to be a walkthrough video of Genius Messenger CRM, which is a browser extension. It's based on Chromium, so it works in Chrome, Microsoft Edge, the new one that is, Brave, Opera, and any other browser that works on the Chromium engine. What we're going to do, we're going to assume you've already got it installed, and it's up here. There's an icon there. If you hover over Genius Messenger CRM, it has access to this site. This is going to work primarily in Messenger. And the first thing you'll need to do is click that icon so that you can log in. Now if you don't remember your password, you can hit forget password, do your email address, and you'll have a chance to reset it. You can also go to our support page or watch training videos at those links there without even having to log in. What you'll do is you'll enter the email address that you registered with and you'll enter the password that you were sent um, after you registered it. Now the first thing I'll show you is you can log out and you can also update your password by putting your current password and then entering a new one. The only rule we have at this moment is it has to be six characters or longer in order to update it. Now we send you a default one that we've generated so we do recommend that you change your password after you log in the first time. If anything in the extension is not working when you first log in and you're trying to do something and it doesn't work, you can refresh the page and if that doesn't work you can log out and back in. That will only happen when you're working the very first session that you're working with the extension. It should not happen, but if it does, remember we're still in beta. Um, once in a very great while we've seen you just have to refresh the page or you have to log out and back in, but that'll only be the first time you use the extension. It won't happen after that. So we're in here, we're logged in. You'll see there are boxes over here on the left-hand side. They're all empty right now, and I'll show you why in a moment. By everyone's name, there's a little box. And if you watch their names, when I click this button here, Show Labels in Facebook, I hit this toggle button, those boxes go away. And what the label boxes are is so we can tag people with where they are in our sales pipeline or what type of person they are as far as our relationship with them. Most people using this extension are going to be using it for sales pipelines. They're going to want to know if somebody is a cold prospect or if they've gone to a cold lead or a warm lead or maybe they're a customer, maybe they're a partner, maybe they're a coaching student. So as they start going through their sales pipeline, they can be tagged with different labels so that you always know where they are and you have access to things that you might want to communicate with them easily. So I'll give you an example. Let's let's go ahead and create. I'm just going to create a few of these. We'll create one called prospect. Now we can change these colors, but let me just go ahead and create these labels first. So maybe we have prospect, cold lead, warm lead, let's do customer, Maybe we have, uh, oops, I'll pick, um, maybe they're a Genius Messenger CRM customer, okay? Maybe they are a customer, um, I don't know, of another product, which is, these are just test things, right? Okay, I'll stop right there. That's good. Well, let's do, let's do one more. Um, maybe we have something that has nothing to do with business. We just want to make sure we don't accidentally send someone a, a business thing. Maybe we are going to tag our family. Okay. Now, one thing we can do is we can um, we can of course delete these by clicking the trash can icon. I'm not going to delete that, but it'll give you a message so you don't accidentally do it. You can also change the colors. We have some preset options here, and I'll make that one blue, and we'll make the actually let's make that light blue. You can change these. Okay, we'll make that one a lighter blue, and we'll make the cold lead a little bit darker blue and we'll make the warm lead even a little darker. We'll make a customer, uh, let's make this one a nice bright green, and we can make this one, oh, I did delete that, didn't I? <laughs> uh, we can make this one uh, a lighter green. And you can also, by the way, choose any color you want. You can go down the spectrum, and you can pick any color that you want there. And if you click that, let me click that, oops, uh, see over here now, now that's an option so you can remember what that is and it gives you the code, that's EEC12C. Okay, so you can see the code. And um, let me add, I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, one more in here. Let's do, let's add that one family back. And then we'll make that one uh, a nice bright red. Now something else you can do is you can move these around. This little icon here, uh, maybe we want the family up first, maybe we want to put customers up at the top. Uh, maybe we want this customer over here, etc. So we can move those around. And the zero shows that 
how many people are in there in that in that label. Now we don't have any, we haven't assigned anyone yet. I'll show you that in just a second. That'll be over here on the left is one of the places we can do that. So the other thing that you can do is you can edit it. Um, right here, Genius Customer, maybe I didn't want that space in there, and then just hit save. So you can edit the name there. So that's what this is, and you're going to be using this page a lot. This is a page um, where you'll be able to access this. Now, there aren't, isn't anyone in there yet because we haven't assigned anyone, but you'll get to this page easily by clicking the icon up here, and you'll find yourself using this a lot. Okay, so let's assign some people to here. Let's go over here. Let's just, let me get rid of that. Let's go here down our left-hand column, and let's just, now some of these aren't going to be real, but I'm just going to assign some things, okay? Maybe Ed Bordy um, is a customer. Uh, maybe Bobby is a, whoops, family member. I clicked outside the box. Um, maybe, uh, let's use Genius Messenger. That's, that's us, right? That's our page. Um, maybe that is a different kind of customer. Um, maybe Diesel is a prospect. I'm just going to add a few of these. Uh, Derek Johnson, let's say he's a warm lead. Uh, Margaret, let's put her as a, let's do a couple of warm leads. We'll do her as a warm lead. Let's put Mark as a warm lead. Um, let's put Renee up here as a warm lead. We'll get a few in there. I'll show you why I'm doing that. Okay, so now if we open this up again, you can see, look, there's one person in here that's family member, one that's that customer, four warm leads. So you can see at a glance who you have in there. And if you need to see who they are, you can click this messages button and hit labels. And there you can see their names right away on there. You can see what you know what, who it is that's in there. Now you can't interact anything here, although you can move these around. Um, and they'll change everywhere when you do that. But you can at least see at a glance who is in these particular labels. So uh, let me go back to where we were first. Okay, so if you click this, I said you're going to be using this a lot, right? So let's find one. Where's the one, the warm leads? Okay, there are some things that we can do with leads. Here's Renee Shannon. Okay, let's say I have to have a call with Renee. So I can send a message if I want to message her. I'll show you that shortly. You can just click that. You can add a note. You can send a notification, or you can delete that contact. And um, let's go ahead and send a notification for Renee. Okay, this is just a test notification, and we'll just use a test email for this. Now, let's say it's today, and I'm going to make this just a couple of minutes from now, 11:25. Uh, that's right now. Let's make it about four minutes, four or five minutes from now. It'll go off while we're doing this presentation, and this this is just a test notification. Okay, so right now, what this does, the notifications, is just a browser notification. For our beta release, for what we have right now, this is just going to give you a browser notification. You'll see in a few minutes in the upper right-hand corner, and I apologize, you'll only see about half the notification because how I'm recording, I have to get down to the chat bar so I can't go all the way to the top of my screen without distorting it in YouTube. Um, but you'll see the bottom of the bar. It's going to show up in there until I click close. Okay, now... After beta is over, I'm hoping about a month from now, we will have calendar integrations where you'll be able to not just hit you know the time, but which calendar do you want this integrated with. And we'll have things like Google Calendar, iCal, uh, hopefully Calendly, and 10 to 8, and some things like that. And But for right now, it's just a browser notification. But we will have calendar integrations. If you have a calendar you would like to see, please let us know. We'll be happy to add it. And then you just set that notification. Okay, so that's done. Um, let's add a note. Let's add a note here to Margaret. Okay, um, Margaret is in the, what is she in? She's in the, um, we were in the warm lead category. Okay, oh, it's right there. Let's add a note for her. Okay, um, maybe um, has not yet seen demo video, but wants to. Okay, maybe that's something that I need to remember. And instead of having to scroll back through the conversation, did Margaret express interest in the in the video? I'm not sure. Now you can take notes and have them right here. Okay, um, provided phone number, not getting messages. I don't know. Maybe she's for some weird reason she's not getting your texts and she's mentioned. Hey, I gave you my number, but I'm not seeing anything from you. We might need to know that so that we don't forget to fix that problem. Okay. Um, she is looking, I'm just going to do one more here. She is looking for training videos. I don't know. Maybe she, she's worried about not being able to set up whatever it is that we have. Now, from here, you can 
edit these, okay, maybe it's uh, for training videos for GM CRM, so that we can remember what that is, you can hit the save icon, we can delete notes if we need to, again, it'll prompt you before you delete it, and you can move them around, maybe, maybe this phone number thing has become a, a priority issue, we can move that up to the top of the list, okay, maybe this video is not of a whole lot of interest, she wants to see the training videos first, we can move that down, so you can reorder these, so that you can always keep the, the high priority up at the top. So that's that's notes. And this is, the notes are specific to an individual. Okay? Global templates, which I'm going to show you next, is global. They apply to everyone. They're not just for an individual. The notes are just for that individual. Now global templates, when you have people in your pipeline, let me, I'm going to actually just, let's go back to here. Okay, so we have different, different pipelines here. You're going to send different kinds of messages to prospects, right? But it's going to be the same kind of message over and over. Hey, how are you doing? Have you seen our video? Have you seen, you know, this and that? Um, have you booked a call with us? You know, whatever you might be saying to prospects. You'll say something different to cold leads. Um, you know, here's this, here's that. Warm leads, maybe the warm are, are the ones that have already watched it, some kind of video or information or read a book or an ebook, and they've expressed interest. Well, you're going to have a different type of communication with them, but no matter what category these people are in, if you've been doing sales or messenger for a while, you know you type the same thing over and over and over again, right? Always. You just keep typing it over again. So what the global templates are, and you can add them, by the way, here, um, when you go into a label, okay, you can add, uh, I'm sorry, not a, not there, the global templates. Yep, there you go. You can add them right here, okay, so I'm in working with things. I can add templates. Maybe I'm going, oh, you know, I need to tell her this. I'm going to have to tell lots of people that. And you can also add them over here on this page. And, and there's our notification. See, it just popped up. This is just a test notification. It says Renee Shen. Okay, so that's how the browser notification works. Okay, so what we need is we need global templates. We'll have um, message that we send to prospects. We'll have messages that we spend, send to cold leads. We'll have messages that we send to warm leads. We'll have messages that we send to customers, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I'm just going to do those four. Now, whoops, and see if you make a typo like I just did. You can go back in and just click that edit icon and then save, and you can delete entire templates. Now, inside the templates are the messages. So maybe a, a message for a customer might be, here is the support desk. Okay, and then maybe we put a link, right? Um, here are the training videos. Okay, maybe we want to put a, maybe we want to put a, some kind of a, there we go, there's a good little emoji. Here are the training videos, and we put a link in there, okay? We can add that. We can even do video uh, uh, images, all right? Maybe we want to send somebody a picture of the Genius Messages CRM CD box, right? So you can put images in there, okay? Um, maybe warm leads, or maybe let's do cold leads. Maybe cold leads get one that say, here is the link to the info video. And you give them the link, right? Okay. I'm not going to add any more because this is enough that we can work with. And you can delete them if you find you're not using them anymore. So that's what those are. And um, I'll show you how these work now. Okay, You can also add them, as I just showed you, if you go into uh, this section and you're in the notes of someone, Okay, you can also do global templates. Now you see the ones we just created are there. They're the customer ones. We can add another one. We'll just call this test four. We can add it. So you can add those right in there, and once they're in there, then they'll also be over here. There's the test four that we just added. Okay, so let's go back to Messenger, okay, and I'll show you some things in here. Now, right from this video over here, or this video, <laughs> this page over here, we can make some changes. Maybe Margaret went from a warm lead. You can just click on that warm lead. Maybe she went from a warm lead to a customer. I can change that right there. I can also change that uh, in uh, here, so she's a customer now, so she's already over there, but I could change that in here. You just click it and just click it and it'll change her to the next one. And um, again, you can see who's in what sections by hitting friends, okay? And in the friends area, I could also change people to a different category, all right? 
Let's go back to here. So down here, we can type a message to someone. And this right here, this little G icon for Genius Messenger CRM, if we click that, we can see notes for that contact. Now we're in the, I apologize for that. We are in the um, Genius Messenger CRM section here. And I don't have any notes for that person. This is not a person, it's a page, but we don't have any notes for that person, so there aren't any quick notes here, okay? We could send them a message. Maybe they are a customer of ours, and we want to send them the image. We can do that. There it is. We just hit send, and boom, it's done. We can also customize these. Now, that will take a second to load. Uh, maybe we, we, uh, they've asked for the support desk or the training videos, we can hit that and it'll go in there and maybe we want to customize this, you know, GM, CRM, that's not their name. Here are the training videos. Okay, so we can we can even type that around a little bit and then you send that, okay? And let's go to Margaret. I think Margaret was the one we left notes on, right? So let's go to Margaret, okay? Send her a picture of Ricky Skaggs there. Let's hit that. Okay, so from Margaret, there are notes. These are the notes that we entered. Remember, provided phone number, not getting messages, looking for training videos, has not yet seen demo video, but wants to. So without having to scroll back through, you can just click that to get rid of it, back through all these messages to find things, I can just click right there, and there are all my notes for that contact. While I'm chatting with them, I can see exactly what the notes are, and then if I need to, I can say, oh, she needs to see this. I've got to send uh, warm leads. I think I entered some now. Uh, warm leads. Where did I? Put? Oh, customers have some. Okay, so here's the support desk link. Okay, maybe she was asking about that. Click that, and it's in there. Now I'm not going to send that, but that's the idea. So now you can have all of your canned responses. Now in an, in an update that we're going to have very soon, you'll be able to add notes right from this page, and you'll also be able to add. Maybe you're typing something to someone, and you're like, oh, I'm going to have to send that to a lot of people over and over and over again. You'll be able to copy that and add it right here into the messages without having to go back out over to here, okay? So that is the Genius Messenger CRM extension, and that's what it does. And I think I showed you, I don't remember, you can toggle these on the left, all of those off if they're getting in your way or you don't need to use it. It'll also take, yes, I did, okay, I did show you. It'll take your icon away from down there, and then when you're ready to work back in the Messenger again, there it is. So that is Genius Messenger CRM. We are going to have many updates. We have a full-time uh, support staff, a full support development staff on board, and we're going to continue to grow this extension over the next weeks, months, and years and make this the premier tool for working as a, you know, a CRM within Messenger. If there are features that you need to see or that you would like to see, please reach out to us. We're going to find a way to delete entire conversations. We're going to find a way to have more integrations. We will, uh, in one of the early releases, have a sync uh, devices. For this initial release, you'll only be able to use this in one browser on one computer because it won't share data with other browsers or other computers. But that's only for the beta launch. We will be able to uh, sync computers so that if you're working on a uh, desktop at the office and then you come home and you're working on your laptop in the evening, you'll have access to everything and everything, that uh, the notes you made that day at the office and the new categories you created or the new notifications you sent or whatever that may be, they'll all sync. We will also be able to, to um, send everything out, for example, to a Google spreadsheet where you can then zap it somewhere into another CRM, uh, into a, a backup device over to, you know, if you use like Chirply for text messages, you can put data over there and you can run text campaigns to people and things like that. So we're going to have integrations. Um, I'd like to put some scheduling. Um, that may be a pro feature, but we'll put some scheduling of messages, not a bot, but just, you know, a scheduling of messages and things like that. So if you need any help or support, again, the links, the support links and the training videos are on the main page. They're also on this page here that you're looking at. And if you need any help, you can always reach out to us for support. If you have any features that you would like to see in here or something you would like to see in a future update, please let us know that as well. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful.